I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. So what are these commandments, statutes that I follow? Well, the Ten Commandments, definitely. And if you do not have a Bible and you are Israel, you need to buy a Bible. If you have your Bible and you haven't used it in a while, dust it off. And the Ten Commandments can be found in Exodus 20 in the Old Testament of the Bible. Now, for those of you who have been deceived by the devil, and the devil means deceiver, liar. And if the devil, the deceiver, told you that the Old Testament is done away with, and you believe that, you are sadly mistaken. For those of you who believe that the Apocrypha, which is the middle book in the King James 1611 version, for those of you who believe, believe that the Apocrypha is not a real part of the Bible, you are sadly mistaken and deceived by the devil. The King James 1611 version of the Bible has the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament, and we are to use all of it. So let's prove that. So now I want to go to... Isaiah 28 and 10 to start with, because if you've been searching out who you are, Israel, you've come across a lot of uh, brothers who are out there bringing this gospel. Um, like I said in the first chapter, I'm, I'm grateful to my brother, who was my torchbearer, who went out and shared the gospel uh, in the streets. And the gospel simply means the good news, the good news of who you are, the good news of the promises coming for you the good news of who your father is, <laughs> the good news of who your brother is, the good news of a kingdom coming that will be eternal and righteous. That's some good news. For me to wake up and understand who I am, that was some good news to me. So you're going to hear a lot of brothers out here, and uh, they'll say, let's prove that. So let's prove that by proving it. <laughs> Isaiah 28 and 10. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So the way the Most High Yahweh has set this book up is that it's redundant and it repeats itself. And there are verses throughout the scriptures that will interlock with one another and confirm one another so a little here a little there and you get the truth a little here a little there you get the truth but also if you look at the the incredible mastery of the father this book which is only intended for Israel is like a spiritual lock where you've got to be given permission and access through the spirit to be able to discern this book, to be able to discern this book. Matter of fact, the spirit has to be on you to even want to pick the book up and read through it. That's how you know the most is dealing with you when the spirit's on you to be like, I want to go home. How do I get there? And you come to your, you come to your, your scripture, your manual. Precept upon precept. So let's prove that this Bible, the whole Bible, Old Testament, Apocrypha, New Testament, is to be used by Israel. Let's start in Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime in the past from the beginning 
from the very beginning, what, whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our, Israel's, learning that we through patience, you must have patience to study this word. You must have patience to grow in this truth. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And what is that hope? That there really is salvation for you. That there is a kingdom beyond your wildest imaginations for you if the Father brings you home. Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's go to, so that was New Testament. Let's go to the Old Testament. Let's go to Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old, from old, from the beginning, from way back in the day, from in the beginning. <laughs> For I am Yahweh. And there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. He was able to put this book together, keep it intact, keep it in print, put his people to sleep, wake them back up, and they could spiritually start to discern and find their way back home. But it's all in this book. All of it. You don't like that? Okay, let's try another one. Precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little, there a little bit. 40 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. In this entire book, it is written of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was spoken of in the Old Testament. Prophesied in the Old Testament. That's why in the New Testament he says, well, I got to do this. So the prophecy must be fulfilled. This entire book, the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament. You must read them. You must study them. Let's try another one. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. Get this book and read. It, it's a gift from the creator of heaven and earth to a specific chosen people and to them alone. And you don't want to read it? You're like, yeah, I'm good on that. Nah, I'm good on that. I'm good. I'm, I'm going to be on Instagram. I'm going to be over here tweeting. <laughs> Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. These books interlock with each other. That's the great craftsmanship of the Most High. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. The Most High Yahweh put this book together for us. Every word crafted just for us read the book the whole book respect the book the whole book let no deceiver tell you anything different let no deceiver tell you anything different listen to your father he told us what to do this is why we're in this mess now because we don't listen to our father we turn our back on our father this is simple he says read the book All right, let's try one more in case that didn't work for you. Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, this is in the New Testament. This is in the New Testament, just in case anybody's like, no, I'm just, I can't do that Old Testament. I can't do it. It's in the New Testament. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Yahweh. This is, is simple. <laughs> simple. If you're Israel, this book needs to be in your hands and you need to be studying it. 
if you are Israel through the seed of your father, this book is the history of your nation. This tells you what your forefathers and your foremothers went through. Their trials and tribulations. How the Most High fought with and for them. How he delivered us again and again and again. And he will deliver us one last time. That's going to be the greatest thing this earth has ever seen. Don't turn your back on your father. Israel. The love he has for us is amazing. He crafted this book word for word and put a spiritual lock on it. This is the history. This book is the history of Israel. Make no mistake about it. World War Three and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest and Brother, Yahweh Shai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore, Yahweh also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father, as it, as it is written, thus saith Yahweh. And nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world. Remember who you are and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai.